My name is Dustin Black. As a part of Clemson Sports Media, I'm going to be doing a film breakdown series of Garrett Riley's offense and what we saw at TCU last year. Today, we're breaking down the run scheme. All right, so this is one of the run schemes that TCU used last year. This is basically just a zone read play. It's a play that Clemson's used for years as well. Um, if you can see, there's a tight end tight to the formation, and there's three wide receivers split out wide to the field side. Um, so basically what's going to happen is Duggan's going to create a mesh point with the running back, and he's going to read the defensive end or linebacker, whoever fills that gap, and basically he's going to make a decision either to hand the ball off or he's going to um, take it himself. So – if you look at these wide receivers that are split out wide to the field side, they're split really wide. I mean, that guy is all the way outside the numbers. No one's inside this hash. And what that basically does is you basically take the defenders out there with you, right? So these three defenders basically have to make a decision. If they're going to play man, they got to show man. Or, you know, if they're going to play the pass, they got to basically decide that we're, you know, we're leaning past here. Um, so it's easy, you know, to tell what the defense is trying to key up on pre-snap kind of makes it easier to make a read on what they're what they're doing okay um so i'm gonna let this play out a little bit i want to show you kind of how it's blocked a little bit too so if you look at this tight end and how he breaks out wide so he completely ignores the person in front of him right so that's kind of a outside linebacker maybe the sam linebacker um sometimes that's a defensive end and a four-man front so i want you to watch what happens so he he keys up on that outside db and this guy kind of gets frozen in no man's land, right? And so that's who Duggan's reading. So based on what that guy does or what he reacts to, he's going to decide to hand the ball off or take it himself. And here he decides to take it himself, and it turns out to be a good decision. So because you lined up the receivers on the other side, there's no defenders on this side. you got one safety to beat, and he's not able to catch up with Duggan, who takes it 67 yards to the house. So it's one thing we've heard this preseason is a lot about how Cade's gained weight. Um, and he's also got a little bit faster from some people. So we know he's going to run the ball. TCU did it a ton. Duggan had a lot of rush yards, a lot of rushing TDs. They used him in situations like this. They used him for QB power. They used him in, you know, scramble drill and just creating plays with his legs. So, you know, Cade Klubnik running the ball is something that we're going to see, and I'm pretty excited for it. And this is something that we've already seen him do. He scored on his own replay in the, in the ACC championship game. This is just a little bit of a different situation now. It'll be interesting to see if Cade can get have speed like this against the defenders we'll play this year to see if he can take it 67 yards. All right, so this is run scheme counter. Basically, Garrett Riley runs this just as much as anybody in the country, if not more. So it's just something to get used to. Clemson's run it in the past, but they haven't run it to the degree that Riley does. So this is going to be the guard and the tackle, basically pulling across the formation. And I just want to kind of illustrate for you pre-snap to show you where they're going to actually be blocking. So if you want to become more explosive as a run team, you're going to have to account for these guys downfield, right? So the whole idea of this play is for the, the line to open up this gap, and then these big guys that are in motion basically pull across the formation and take care of any linebackers or safeties that try and shoot that gap. So this is going to be Marcus Tate at guard, Tristan Lee at left tackle. Um, you know, Marcus Tate kind of trained as a left tackle in fall camp, or that's kind of the plan. So both these guys moving in space, getting downfield as a blockers is going to be very beneficial for this run game. So I want to I want you to watch it play out here just to kind of see it. Um, like I said, it's it's one of the plays that Garrett Riley used a lot of, and they got a lot of explosive run plays off of it. Um, so we'll see it a lot this year. And I think really the linemen that Clemson have and that they've recruited in the past are good in space. You know, they don't have the size that some lines do, but they have the athleticism. Okay. So one thing, one more thing I want to go over this play is I want you to watch the footwork of the running back. So the running back, when he's taking this handoff, he kind of takes a little bit of a backpedal, and it's just a timing thing. So this, this play has basically a timing and a rhythm to it that you, know, you need to have for it to work, and that's one thing that Will Shipley has talked about this offseason. It's something that you know, when people interview him and say, hey, you know, what's one thing you can work on this season? He's basically said, you know, I need to be more patient as a runner. So this is going to be something to look for. Um, if you watch the footwork of the running back, I want you to watch how he takes like a little bit of a back pedal, then takes the handoff, and he's there in time. You know, he's not there too early. He's there in time, and the play's executed perfectly. You know, I don't think I need to show you clips of Will Shipley last year to, for you to understand what I'm talking about when I told you he's just running into the back of Lyman last year and not letting those gaps open up. So it's a run scheme we're going to see. Just get used to it. It's going to be – you know, repped a lot in fall camp. You saw it in the spring game. 
So it's definitely something that's going to be utilized. All right, so this is a good play to look at from last year. This is the game against Texas. TCU and their two back sets. You know, a lot of people asking, does TCU do that? Does Garrett Riley use that in his offense? Well, he 100% does. He doesn't do it a whole lot, but it's definitely part of his offense. Okay, another part I want to go through with this play is a little chess move that Garrett Riley uses pre-snap. So that player I have highlighted is Spivey. He's actually a tight end, but he's kind of flexed out as a wide receiver right now. That's something that Clemson's done with Brennan School a lot. He did it a lot last year. It's something I expect to do with him this year. Um, but I'll just show you what Garrett Riley does. So Duggan's going to motion back. Duggan's going to motion him back to the formation, right? And now he's kind of an attached tight end H back kind of role. And that's something that I want to see Brinks will do this year is kind of evolve his game into becoming, you know, more of an inline blocker, kind of like how Davis Allen was. I thought Davis Allen was, you know, really great at doing both. How he was good at being in the box and also, you know, could flex out as a wide receiver and catch the ball. So. I think that's the next step for Brennan School is just becoming this inline blocker and helping out in the run game. So this play is similar to the other zone read play I showed you. The only th the only difference is that there's an RPO built off of it, and they're actually going to throw a little swing pass to the second back. So I'll let this play out here. So there's the zone read. You got the defensive end frozen, and he's just going to swing pass. And then you got big blockers in the perimeter, right? So the guy matched up with Spivey is kind of a, a – nickel um maybe he's just a box safety something like that but spivey's definitely got the size advantage on him right so that's an easy block for him to make um again philosophy of garrett riley's offense get your playmakers the ball in space it's a great way to do that it's not a hard pass to complete not a hard route to run um it's just more easy offense okay and you know, I know everyone's excited about having Moffa and Shipley this year. I expect to see them on the field together, a, you know, a decent bit. Yeah, they're, they're two of our best skill players. They're definitely going to be used in this fashion. And I think this is definitely something that Clemson should be excited about this year. All right, so this is TCU in their game against Oklahoma State. They're in their 11 personnel. They got a tight end sitting in as an H-back in the backfield. And I want you to watch something that's pretty important on this play. So that's the slot receiver. What he's going to do is he's going to motion through uh, the formation. And I want you to watch what it does to that defender that I have highlighted. It's not big. It's not major. But it's just enough. So if you look at the situation, we got second and one. You know, we're just on our side of the 50. I want you to watch what it does. Just that little bit of hesitation kind of displaces him just enough so that you're guaranteed that one, two yards that you need. It's just another little chess piece that Riley uses in his offense. You'll see that motion a lot, and a lot of times he won't give the ball to him. A lot of times it's just one of those dummy things that, you know, defenders will kind of hesitate on and kind of look at and respect. But you have to respect it because there are times that Duggan will just snap the ball and have a little jet – touch pass to this guy and he's free to the perimeter so it's just one of those things that you'll see clemson do you'll see that pre-snap motion a lot you'll see him swing through the formation and you'll see him freeze these defenders and it just makes it easier for this run play especially on short yard situations you're almost guaranteed to get that one two yards extra with that defender frozen um, but more go to depth in this run play you see that tight end kind of as a lead blocker um, another thing that's just important so that's something that we definitely want to see this year. Losing Davis Allen was a big loss. But if you see night pretty nice gap open up, pretty easy on second and one, gain about eight. So good play. So a lot of the stuff that I went through today with the run scheme is the basically just the core principles. So there's obviously a lot more complexity through it. Um, this is just what I saw a lot of when I go through TCU film. It's kind of the core of how TCU like to run the ball. It's one thing that I think will determine Clemson's success this year is how well they run the ball. You know, we all know how good Will Shipley is. We all know how good Phil Moffa is. Um, I think their success this year kind of dictates how good this offense is going to be, if I'm being honest. So the run scheme is definitely going to change under Riley. Um, it, you may not notice it at first. It may be a little subtle, but I promise you that these little differences are going to make a big impact on Clemson's offense this year.